Hi guys, so uh, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Danae and this is Budgeting with Nurse Nay. In this video, I'm going to take out cash out of my bills binder so I can pay my bills. Um, well, at least my credit card bills. And we're going to do a bill exchange and we're going to see how much money that I saved in my sinking funds um, for the month of April. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get this cash out here. We're also going to do a bill a swap or bill exchange because why not when I'm counting my funds. So I have $1,820 in here that we are going to use because it's all going back to the bank and I'm going to use this as well as some prop money I have here um, when I count my funds and we'll uh, see how much I saved in the month of April. All right, so let's count this up, make sure this is correct. What did I say it was? 18, oh my goodness, I already forgot. 1820, okay. Set this aside. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, fifty, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five, five, fifty. Hang on, let's do this. This is 500. Um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700. All right. 700, 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, 95, 800. Is that what I said? Yeah, 800. We got 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep. Okay. That is correct. Now that I got everything messed up. There's the ones. Some fives. Probably won't be exchanging these, but I'm going to put them in there anyways. Hope everybody can see the money here. Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, do 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 do. All this needs to go to pay my credit card bills. And why not do bill swap and count what we have in our sinking funds so we can see what I've saved in the month of April. Thought why not do it all together since I've got the money out anyways. And then 50s. And then I also have some prop money out. Oh, there's some 50s here too. Um, I've got prop money out as well. Prop 100s, uh, 500s, and then $1,000 ones as well. That's all in the right spots. Yep. Okay. So, first thing I have here is still in my bills binder, which is I consider it a sinking fund. Um, and one month ahead, um, I think we only have 25 in there. I just started doing that this month, so there's 25 in there. Current balance is 25, so it's positive 25. Um, and we're going to do car maintenance, which is in here as well. It says we should have $91. Uh, if you watched my previous videos, you know that I had spent some money on my car maintenance. I had almost like three or $400 or $500. Um, but towards my car needed to be done, so there's that. Um, so we had $300 last month. Let's see where, what we at. Where it says $91, $50, $70, $75, $80, $85, $86, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $
Got this nice bling pen. Uh, link should be in the description, but I love it. It's the first time I'm actually using it on camera. So cute. All right, so 91 here on car maintenance. that is it for that binder next we're going to go to my big teal binder here let's get this out see what we've got in here and see what we can exchange I'm gonna push this back a little bit I know you guys can't see it but I'll push it back so when we're done with this binder this is the only big one I should have so all right so new house we had 190 last month let's see where we're at this month it says we should be at four is it 401 or is it 400? I can't, I can't even read my own writing. I think it's 400, but that doesn't look like a zero. All right, so we have $100. This is a placeholder in the bank. We have 51, 52, 50, 70, 93. So $400 is correct. So we have $300 that we can put in the bank for a new house. So we have a total of 400. And we're, it's a positive of, what is that? 10, um, 210, yeah. Positive 210, yeah. All right, but I'm gonna put this on the side here, what I'm gonna put back in the bank. So we're gonna get some uh, placeholders in here because I don't need the money right now. It's going towards my house. When I get my house, um, then I'll need that money. But right now, let's put it in the bank. So we're gonna get four uh, placeholders for $100 bills. Let's see, we have one, two, three. I'm sorry, three, because we already have one in there. All right, ah, I don't wanna mix it up with the real ones here. They look pretty close, but not quite. Okay, so then one, two, 50, 70, 93, yep. Okay, so there's 300 going back into the bank. I'm gonna write it down what category it's going into. Let's see, new house, 300, cool. That was nice progress in the month of April. All right, put that over here. All right, next is going to be kids. We had nothing in kids last month. Um, this month we paid them on their third quarter, I believe, and we did save some more. So it says 55, we have 10, 20, 30, 45, 55. All right, so we'll keep probably the best looking five here and then we have 50 here. We'll get a $50 bill. Let's try to get a decent one. I guess it doesn't really matter, but that's not really that nice of one either. Um, this one's not bad, I guess. All right, so we have 55 and kids, so 55. That's positive 55, okay. And like I said, um, I usually use this for the kids for either allowance, but it's mainly used for the report cards. Um, so, and they're smart and they get good grades, so you can't fault them for that, I guess. Um, vacation, we had 205 last month. This month it says we have 435, so we have $200, which is already in the bank. We'll put that there. And let's count this. 51, 52, 210, 215, 220, 225, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So 435 with those 200s. Okay, we have 235 here, so let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 15, 20. Let's see, this actually might be the best. Let's take this five. I like the nicer bills in my thing here. All right, so we're gonna get a $20 bill out. Okay, and let's see what we got here. We have one, two, let's keep that 10. So we're gonna get $200, we're gonna get fake 100. So we're gonna put $200 in the bank, right? Yeah, because we're gonna keep this 35 out. So we're gonna put 200 from vacation into the bank because I'm not going to use that until I'm going on vacation, which is almost, I don't know, 10 months from now. So we're gonna have another 200 here. So we'll have 435 right here. All right, so we have 435 and then vacation. 
We put in another 200. Okay. All right, and then 435, let's see, 435 minus 205, I just don't feel like doing that, is 230. I probably could have done it, you know, positive 230. I just don't feel like doing it in my head right now because <laughs> I'm tired. All right, so that was a nice little jump there too for vacation. Okay. All right, emergency fund. Emergency fund had 200 last month. It says it has 400 now. So we have $200 in placeholders from last month. We have 51, 50, 200. Yep, so we have $400 in emergency, which is a positive 200. And I'm going to put this $200 here in the bank. Because why not? I'm not using that either. So there's $200 from emergency going to the bank. And we're going to put placeholders in here. For that, let's see, one, two, three, four. I wish we could have a 500. We're so close, like 400, 400, 400. I'm like, man, I could use my 500, but that's all right. Next month we will. Because um, I only have so many hundreds, you know. But there's no use in heaping that money in the in the house um, because I'm not using it. And that's rollover. We're not doing anything with that. Um, yeah. I don't count that because that I just put towards wherever I want to. I forgot about these placeholders. If I, I don't even think I have a thousand for any of them yet, but I can put it over here if I want. I'll put them here just in case. Um, if I can use a thousand placeholders, I'll use those because if you watch my Happy Mail video, you'll know where I got these from and who I got them from. So, all right, let's move the money back up. Put that there. Move Prince the Frog over a little bit. There we go. Okay. Next is going to be my challenge, savings challenge finder here. This is the other big one. Let's see if it'll fit here. Yeah, it will. All right. So for those of you who have watched my videos, I had a 1K um, challenge, and then I um, completed that, but I used the 1K to pay off my child support balance, so that is clear so that I can get my house. So, I mean, technically, I had 1K last week or last month, but it's gone now, so last month I'm going to put we had 1K, because we did, um, but now it's gone, so we just have to count what we have in the 2K challenge this, this month, so. Alright, so it's probably going to be down, but I mean, I did save that money, but it had to be spent, it had to be spent, so I had to get my house, so it is what it is. Alright, let's count this up. We have 1, 2, 50, 70, 90, 94. 5, 96, 97, 98. Oh, this is not even in any orders. Oh my gosh, here, hang on a second. We've got, hang on, bills out of order here. What was I doing? I think I just stuffed it in there and said I'll count it later. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. All right, so we have 1, 2, 300, 350, 400, 420, 440, 460, 465, 470, 471, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 480, 41, 482. So there's two. Um, and let's keep a 50. We're going to do 80, 70, and then we'll get a 10 too. Okay, so we should have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 50, 370, 390. 395, 400, and this should be 10, I believe. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so we're getting a $10 bill for this because, yeah. All right, and that's going to go with this. It's going to stay here in the envelope, okay? And then we're going to take this 400. Is that what I said? I believe that's what I said. So we have 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 95, 400, yes. These are all real, so we're going to put them in the bank. And get out four fake hundreds. See, I'm going to run out of hundreds, guys. Hopefully I don't need any more. I can use the real ones, I guess, but I only have two left. <laughs> all right. So we're going to put 400 in the bank. So we totally we have one, two. Wait, where'd the other one go? Did I drop it? I thought I grabbed four. One, two, three. I didn't grab four. I thought I did. 
I don't know where it went. I guess I didn't grab four. I guess I don't even have two. I only have one left. Okay, that's nice. I don't know where it went. I thought I had four. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm going crazy. That's very possible. All right, so one, two, three, four. 50, 70, 80, 1, 2. So 482. So 482. Um, and then we had 1,000 last time, so I'm going to just subtract it. So 1,000 minus 482 is negative 518. I mean, but technically it's not, but I had to spend it, so it kind of is. Okay, and then I want to put here that in my 2K challenge, let's use my writing, um, we put it in 400 in the bank. That way you can keep track of how much I'm putting in there too. So I'm adding on to what I already have in there. Okay, so that's all done. So hopefully I won't need any more of the fake hundreds. I can just put real hundreds in there, I guess. No big deal. All right, so that is done. Next we are going to do one of my challenges in here. Uh, this is challenges and sinking funds. Oh, I didn't cross these off. Hang on one second. Let me color these in. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I thought I colored all these in. So this was my April challenge. Um, I colored in the rest of the raindrops. Um, it was a $500 savings challenge. So let's see if we save 500. We should have 500 in here. Um, I don't have the one out for May yet, but in my next stuffing video, you'll see that one. I'll get that one out. So let's count this here. We have 1, 2, 3, 50, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 5. 500 dollars. That's awesome. All right, so 500, that's positive 500. Um, I'm going to leave this in the envelope because I'm not sure quite what I want to do with this yet. Um, I'll figure that out with my next video, with my stuffing video, and I'll show you where I allocated those funds, and then we'll show you the new May challenge, uh, what that's going to look like. Okay, so let's go to weather challenge now. Um, it says 26-week challenge, but I'm doing a 52-week challenge for weather. I just used 26-week challenge envelope because it matches the binder. So last month we had $140 in weather challenge. So we have one fake hundred dollar bill here. Now we have, so that's 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, what did I say? 300, 20, 30, okay. Let me recount that. So we have 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 25, 30. So 330, 1, 1, 20, oops, this is 20 sticking together, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, and then 30. Okay. So let's get a couple, or get a 10 here. Let's get a 10 out. Or I like this one better. That one's not even, these 10s are horrible. All right, so there's that for that. Um, so the weather challenge already has $100 in the bank. We're gonna do 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200 in the bank. Let me save the nicer 20. And then this 10, and then we're gonna get one, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, okay. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. I'm having to count it five times just to make sure I'm right, okay. So we'll get one 100, fake 100 and then we'll do a real 100 too, I guess, because I'm out of other 100s. Okay. So now we should have one, two, three, 20, 30. 330 for weather challenge. That took way too long. <laughs> All right, 330 minus 140 equals, so positive. 190 all right and then weather challenge we put in 200 right weather 200 okay all righty then guys let's do this oops let's put it that way sorry about that i thought the bills were in order i guess not 
All right, and I do not count my ones and fives and tens challenge. That's this. I've already had one batch of ones saved away, and then um, my fives, this is my leftover fives. I don't count that till the end of the year, and tens. So these are all gonna just keep on saving, and then we'll find out at the end of the year how much I've saved. You'd be surprised how much you can save from your leftovers. All right, so this is my son Aiden savings. Uh, last month we had 75. Looks like we have 150 this month, so let's see. We have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150. Yep, so there's the 50, so we're gonna have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. We're going to put into the bank. And I'll just get a regular $100 bill, a real one, I guess not a regular one, a real one, because I have no fake ones, so we're going to do that. So we have $150, which is a positive $75 for him. Um, and since I'm not putting it in the bank, i am just got the real $100 out. Oh, you know what? I did that wrong then for my last one. Shoot. The weather challenge, I put in a real $100 bill, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I did. So we only put $100 in the bank for the weather challenge, right? Instead of $200, yeah, let me put that in there, right? Okay, $100. Okay, sorry about that. I just remembered that. I was like, wait, okay. Because I had the real one and I just replaced it. Okay. All right, so Delena, my daughter, she should have the exact same as him. 150, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 135, 40, 45, 50. So we'll save the 50 and we'll do 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. I don't know if we'll need any fives, but those are nice fives there. We'll do the regular $100 bill so we do not have to put anything in the bank. And that's positive 75 for her envelope. Okie dokie, that was easy enough. Okay, uh, Family Fun had $10 in it last month. Looks like it has $40, 10, 20, 30, 40. We can put these down and get two 20s. Let's see, do we have any decent 20s here? Not really. Let's see, we'll do that one, I guess. I don't know. All right, so there's $40 for Family Fun, which is positive 30. Hang on, guys. Allergy season. I got to blow my nose. Hang okay, on. sorry about that if I was sniffling a lot. All right, so we have 40, and that's a positive 30 for Family Fun. Okay. Man, allergy season is horrible. The older I get, the worse my allergies get. All right, Medical had 250 in it last month. It says it has 355 this month, so let's see what we have here. I feel like this is like too cramped here and you can't see it really good. Okay, so we have two um, fake $100 in the, that's placeholders, that's in the bank. And now we have 51, 120, 140, 150, 155. So we'll keep the five and a 50 and get another $100 bill. And since we don't have a fake one, we'll just get a real one. And go with that. I wish I had some other fake hundred dollar bills. All right, so we have three fifty five. Could put more money in the bank. Um, and that is a positive one oh five. I want to put this real one hundred in the front just so I know I have real one hundreds in there too. Okay. On uh, tithing, I really need to give this to the church. I think it's still 300. This is three $100 bills too. I really would like to put this in the bank. You know what, let me put this in the bank because I'm gonna pay that. So I'm just gonna take that and put that in the bank as well. That's why, that's why I haven't paid it. I just haven't got out of the envelope and take it to the church and paid it. So here's 300, we're gonna get out and put in there. I'm gonna write it down. Um, tithing. 300 pay. Okay. There we go. Now that I know I have to pay that. Okay. Um, let me do this on the tracker here too. I forgot. All right. So minus 300 equals zero. Okay. There we go. That way it's not sitting here. It's just sitting in the envelope. Why not? Why don't I need to take it to the church? Okay. 
Sorry about that. Anyways, um, oh, I didn't write it on here. Oops. Um, so 300, um, which is not, no change. So there we go. Or, well, I took it out, so I should just put, I should put zero. So I guess that would be minus 300, right? Yeah, that's okay. All right. So my son's birthday, Aiden, had $10 in his envelope last month. This month it has $30 in it right now. So that's positive $20. His birthday's not till October 1st, so we have a little bit of time, but we need to start saving for that too. And then my daughter's birthday envelope is empty because she just had her birthday in March. Okay, so that binder is done. Next is going to be this binder here. All right. We have my savings. Last month it had $20 in there. Now we have 45, 20, 45. I mean, it's really all my savings, like I say, but I need to start beefing this up just to have my own savings, you know, but yeah. It's not a priority right now, so. All right, gifts, last month had 55. As you've watched my videos, you know I've been paying and buying gifts and then restocking it and then buying more gifts, you know, yada, yada, yada. So, but we still have 65 in here, so 20, 40, 65. Um, I'm gonna leave it with the 20s like this because I may need $25 for a gift or something. So we have 65, which is a positive 10 because we had 55 last month. Um, yeah, but I have been buying gifts, so that's why it's been fluctuating. Um, beauty, let's see, beauty had $70 last month, and if, if you watch my video, you know I've spent a bunch of money on my daughter's hair and my nails, so beauty's a fluctuating one too. Um, right now we have 20, 40, 55. Um, we can do a 50. I'll grab a 50 out here. Uh, there we go. All right, so we have 55 and beauty, which is a negative 15. All right, clothes is empty. It had $20 in there last month, so it's zero, so minus 20. Entertainment had $20 in it last month. It now has 35, 10, 20, 35. We're gonna keep that and we'll keep the nicer 10, that one. And we'll get a 20 for these. There's a 20, so we have 35 here for entertainment. That's positive 15. I've been really paying off stuff and I think saving, doing the savings challenges more. Um, my sinking funds are getting neglected and I told myself this year I'm not going to neglect my sinking funds. I need to keep stuffing my sinking funds. Planner, um, Planner had $6 last month. Right now it has zero. I just took all my money out for my planner stuff. So that's a negative $6. Let's see. Next page here is electronics. Ooh, this pen likes to roll. It's so pretty when it rolls though, it's so sparkly. Uh, last month it had $10 in it, this month it has 30, so that's a $20 positive. All right, and that can't be exchanged, we'll just leave that like that. This is the holiday um, envelope, had 60 in it last month, has zero in it this month. We spent all that um, for holidays, uh, so that would be a negative 60. Mother's Day had $10 in it last month, and I had 75, but I spent it all on my mom for Mother's Day, so now it has zero. So we'll just say it's a negative 10 from last month because it really doesn't even act like I have 75 in there because I just spent it. Um, I didn't put July 4th on here. I'll just put it down here. July 4th, I guess I didn't have any money in it last month. It has $20 in it. So we'll put 20, which is a positive 20. Okay, and then back to school, had $15 in it last month and now has 20, 45. 
I need to start beefing that up because that'll be here before we know it. They're not even out of school yet, and I feel like they're already going to be going back to school. Um, so that is a positive $30 this month. Like I said, it wasn't my priority this month. My priority was getting my um, bills paid off so that I can get my house and saving for my house. So I, I say that's a pretty good goal, you know, to have. I mean, sinking funds might have suffered a little bit, but that's okay. All right, now we are going to do my 100 envelope challenge and my Christmas challenge, which is located in here. So I'm not going to look at any of the cash, but as you can see, these are the ones that are filled up. These are the ones that still need to be filled up. This is Christmas. This is the 100 envelope. So we have our cheat sheets here. All right, and I'm going to quickly add these up. All the ones that are checked for the Christmas challenge is what I've got in there. And this is all the ones that are highlighted are the ones that I've stuffed so far for the 100 envelopes. So I'm going to add this up and fast forward this for you guys. Okay guys, so I added all this up. So for my Christmas challenge, last month we had $460 saved. This month we have $765, which is a positive $305 this month that we saved in Christmas challenge, which is awesome. Um, and I think at the end of this challenge it'll be like $1,600, so that's kind of cool. We're already like almost halfway there. Um, and for the 100 envelope challenge, we had $735 last month, and this month we have $1,166 saved, so that's a positive $431. Um, so yeah, I am going to put this away, and then I'm going to crunch some numbers, and I can speed that up for you guys as well. But yeah, that's pretty good progress for my challenges. So that's why I said I, I put most of it towards my challenges, saving for my house, and um, paying off to get my house. <laughs> Paying off bills to get there, you know, so got to do what we got to do. But like I said, it's all my money. It's all my savings. So, um, okay. Oops. Can I get this on here? There we go. All right. So I'm going to add all these up and I'm going to fast forward this for you guys. Okay guys, so I've added it all up. Last month in March we had $4,460 saved. Uh, this month in April we have $5,669 saved. So even with all that spending and things, we still saved more money. So let's see what the difference is. So we have 5669 minus 4460 equals $1,209. So that's not bad. That's not bad with all I had to pay and everything. I'm I'm happy about that. Put it on here. That's where it really should be. Okay. So now let's figure out what I have from the bank here. So we have 300 plus 200 plus 200 plus 400 plus 100 plus 300 plus the, was it 18, what was it, 1820 or something I had for my credit cards? I keep forgetting that number. Yep, 1820, all right, so plus 1820. All right, so she had $3,320 here. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's see, I'm going to do these. Ah. It's amazing how much money you have. Like, you don't realize how much money that you have in there until you get it out like this and you look at it and you're like, holy crap. Okay. So there it is, guys. There's what I'm taking back to the bank. Now let's count it up. Should be $3,320. All right. <clears throat> We're going to put it in piles here. Let me put these over here. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
1,000, put that there, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600, 50, 700, 50, 800, 50, 900, 50, 2,000. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. There's 500. I'm going to put it this way because it's 500. So I know it's not 1,000 because I lose track. <laughs> All right. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 85. Okay, so this is another thousand. There's three thousand. So far, so good. <clears throat> 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300. All right, 305, 310, 315, 320, 325, 330, 335, 340, 345, 350, 355, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400. <clears throat> That's 400 now. All right, I guess I'm over. I must have just miscalculated something here. I don't know what I did. Okay, well. That's 400. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So I have $3,440. So I'm off by 120 um, I'm going to recount that real quick and I'll get back to you guys. So hang on. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I recounted it all like three times and finally I got it right. I was missing the 120 out of the thousand, I think, or something. I don't know. Either way, this is correct. It's $3,320 going back to the bank. All right. We made it. We did it. Okay. Usually I'm pretty good at that. I'm just a little off, I guess, today, but... So that is it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It helps the algorithm of my channel. It gets my channel out there. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Um, so every time I post a video, you will know about it. And leave me a comment down below. I know you guys are probably going crazy in the comments like, you missed this, you missed that. I'm sorry. It is what it is. It's real life. But I fixed the mistake. I knew what I did. So there it is. Um, or just say hi. That's great. Uh, and I will see you on my next week's stuffing, first week of May. And stay tuned for my new challenges. Until then, bye.